Hey everybody, it's Sean. I hate coming on here and talking about this bullshit, I really do. Because these people are so stupid, all of them. These people. Do you know what I mean? Like JD Vance? Who the fuck is JD Vance? I don't even know who this person was. Yes, I had seen the name a couple of times, but I thought surely Trump's not going to pick somebody that I haven't heard of. Not because I'm some big deal. Obviously, I'm not. I'm shadow banned on all these platforms. I'm, oh my gosh, I'm slurring my speech. I, am I Biden? Am I speaking too slow? I mean, too, too low. Am I in Iraq or am I in Glendale or am I in... Where am I? Armenia? You know? And apparently you can't even talk about politics anymore. Right, because the way that social media is going about moderation in so many ways is to scrub political speech. <laughs> anyway, I don't care. I'm so absorbed by my teaching work. <sighs> If we have to go through one more Trump administration, so be it. There's only light after the darkest hour. Everybody knows that. <sighs> Gosh. What goes down must go up, just like what goes up must go down down. I'm not a reenactor. I'm living my life like it's golden, motherfuckers. I don't care who the president is. I'm getting these poppers out of the way. They're irrelevant. I don't care who the president is. You know? I don't care if the lighting isn't that great up in here right now. You know, I don't care who the president is, I repeat. They are not... Let me not stutter. They are not the boss of me. Here's the message that I would like to get out there. If anybody would like to help me. Um... I was stunned by not Trump's reaction to the bullet grazing his ear, but to the pictures of him. As usual, he just captured the vibe at that rally exactly to a T. Right? They see him as this country's savior and he just survived an attack in his life. Which, by the way, this whole thing makes no sense. Right? I mean, I guess all presidential assassinations make no sense to a certain degree. But this one, like, how come everybody's pointing out that this was the most obvious vulnerability for a uh, sniper to take down a target from <laughs> it just it doesn't make any sense right <sighs> um the here i am i thought i was recovering from this unforeseen turn in this presidential election season, which admittedly I tuned into late, but because I'm in my own bubble, I guess, as everybody is, but then I saw 
today that J.D. Vance was picked. Again, I repeat, who the fuck is J.D. Vance? Meanwhile, on the other hand, right, um, the Democrats do not have their cojones in hand, right? Because nobody can go against Biden, who I guess is stepping his wife still because she seems to be his biggest fan, which makes sense, right? You want your other half to be your best half, to be your biggest fan in a way. You know, I mean, Arthur taught me that. And thank God for Arthur because I would never be getting through this completely insane era in American politics without his love and support, you know, even if we still remain separated by coasts. You know, there's a lot of opportunism, I think is the correct term that I read in the media today. People are just taking advantage anywhere they can to obtain power. And why? Why can't they find that power within themselves? Why do they have to continually take it from other people? Right? People don't like to hear the F word, fascism, but I mean, call it what you want, fascism or the far right. There might be a meaningful difference between the two genealogies, or there might not be. It doesn't make a difference to me. The point is, is that there is a consolidation around the world. It's been going on since at least Trump's first presidential run there's a consolidation I was saying around the world of far right politics and that is once again confirmed by J.D. Vance's nomination you cannot get a more conservative far right lunatic not in a good way Right, because I'm somebody who loves the moon, right? And by the way, there are two full moons in Capricorn this cancer season, and I'm both cancer and Capricorn, so I'm seeing things extremely clearly. And I spend all day teaching, because my brain is firing like the top gun it is. I don't need a weapon to express myself. It's for losers. I don't need a military to make myself feel good. Right? I can grab my own cojones anytime I want. Again, I ask, how can the Democrats are just twisting in the wind here? They're putting an increasingly declining, say what you will, but an increasingly declining president against this vigorous duo, a 39-year-old and a 78-year-old who just survived an assassination attempt. Ay, 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 people. I don't know what people are so afraid of. Why are other people so concerning to them? Why can't we just share the wealth? Why can't we just support one another, right? Oh, I know, because there's lots and 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 lots of money to be had. Right, that's again called opportunism. Again, I just want to rewind for a second and think about this. Um, Oh, Isaac was back today. That's right. Mm. 
I say now, 